Hello everybody, my name is Amel and I'm back again with another tutorial about MIPS assembly language. Today I'm going to show you how to write a program that will allow you to add all the numbers in an array of integers and also how to calculate the average of those numbers. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. First of all, I'm going to open Mars, the Mars simulator, so we can write the code. And I'm going to click on File, New. I'm going to click on File, Save As. And I'm going to save it in my desktop. I'm going to call it Sum AVG for sum and average. So first of all, I'm going to have my data section. In my data section, I'm going to have an array um, of integers. And I'm going to assign three values, 10, 2, 9. You can have as many values as you, as you want. But f as an example, I'm just going to use three values, just to keep it simple. I'm going to have another variable. It's going to be the length. And it's going to be an integer. And the length, as you can see, is 3, because I only have three values in the array. Then I'm going to have another variable. This is going to be another integer. And it's going to be the sum. Initially, I want the sum to be 0. And I also want a variable for the average. And it's going to be 0 as well. So what I have done here is to initialize uh, four variables, the array itself, the length of the array, the sum, and the average. And all these variables, they are not registers. They are in random access memory. They are in the data section. Now, we can define the instructions, so the text section. Initially, the main procedure. And in the main procedure, what I'm going to do is that I want to get the base address of the array. I want to get the address where the array starts. So I'm going to say load address. I want that to be in T0 array. So what I'm doing is that now base address, right? T0 is in the base, uh, uh, the base address is in T0. Then I'm going to load immediate in T1, 0. So I'm going to use T1 as my index in the array. So this is going to be I, or the index, initially to 0. So T0 is the base address, T1 is the index in the array. Then I want to store the length of the array in another register. And I'm going to choose T2 for the length. So I'm going to say load word $t2 length. And what this is going to do is that it's going to get uh, the length from random access memory, which is 3. And it's going to it's going to store the length in my register T2. OK. So I'm going to write a comment, t2 is equal to the length. And also, load immediate, $t3, 0. So I'm setting t3 to have the value of 0, because t3 is going to be my sum. OK, so now that I finished initializing my registers, with the array, the length, the index, and the sum, I can write a loop to add the, all the numbers in the array. So I'm going to call it sum loop. This is my label, sum loop. I'm going to say load word $t4, comma, parentheses, $t0. And what this is going to do is that it's going to get 
uh, the value in the array at index i. So t0 is the base address. So the first time it's going to get the first element and it's going to be stored in register t4. So I'm going to write a comment. I'm going to say that $t4 gets a value of array sub i, the element at position i in the array. Then I want to increment the sum. I want to add this element, the element at position i, which is in t4. I want to add it to the sum. But where's the sum? Well, as you can see, sum is in t3. So I'm going to say add store in $t3 t3 $t4. So what I'm doing is that I'm taking a raise of i, the current element, adding it to the sum and storing in sum. So this is equivalent to doing the following. Sum gets a value of sum plus a raise of i. Okay? Now that I did that, I want to increment my index. So I'm going to say add dollar $t1 dollar $t1 comma 1. So remember that T1 is i, is the index in the loop. So each time I want to increment my index by 1 uh, every iteration. Okay. And at the same time I also want to move to the next element in the array. So remember that an integer is 4 bytes. So what I have to do is add 4 to the base address every time and I'm going to go to the next element. So I'm going to say add dollar t0 dollar t0 comma 4 and let me write a few comments here. So here what I'm doing is that I'm just updating the array address. And here, what I'm doing is that I'm incrementing the index. Index i gets a value of i plus 1. And once I increment the index and the and I move to the current to the to the next element, I just want to check the condition. So I'm gonna say branch if less than if I'm gonna say if the index i is less than the length of the array, then I want to go back to the loop. I wanna loop again. So index i is t1, I'm gonna say dollar t1. If it is less than dollar t2, loop, go back to loop. So it's gonna, if this is true, if i is less than the length, if t1 is less than t2, it's gonna jump back here to some loop. It's gonna go again. Once this, once the condition is false, it's not gonna loop again. It's gonna, it's gonna continue down here. Okay. Um, so let me write a comment. If i is less than the length of the array, then loop again. Okay. So now, once this is done, this is going to go through all the elements in the array. It's going to go through. It's going to go through the whole array. It's going to go. Uh, and it's going to say 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 9 is 21, and then, as you can see, t3 is the sum. So each time we're adding uh, the the element in t to t3. So Initially t3 is 0, but then it's going to be 0 plus 10 is 10, so t3 has 10. Then it's going to go 2, 10 plus 2 is 12, so t3 is going to have 12. And then it's going to go to 9, and then uh, 12 plus 9 is 21, so t3 is going to have 21. And that's going to be the sum of all the elements in the array. And what I want to do now is that I want to store the sum in my variable sum. 
that is in the in the data section because now it is in the register. It is in the register T3. So I'm gonna say store word dollar T3 comma sum. All right. So now the sum is in in the variable sum. And now I just have to calculate calcul calculate the average. So I'm going to say divide div store in T5 dollar T5 and you're going to divide the value in T5 I mean in T3 by the value in T2. So remember that T3 is a sum and T2, T3 is the sum and T2 is the length or the number of elements in the array. So I'm going to divide uh, the sum by the number of elements and that's going to give me the average and that result I'm going to store in T5. So now T5 has the average. But I also want to save the average to random access memory. So I'm going to say store word dollar T5 average. And I want to point out this. Um, using store word and load word is low compared to register operations. So if you're writing a compiler, you want to optimize the compiler. You want to make sure that the compiler uses registers as much as possible. And you want to minimize um, load and you want to minimize store instructions because um, it takes time when you are moving from a register to memory or from or from memory or from memory to a register so that's something that you have to take into account we always try to minimize um, those instructions because they take time usually we want, we want to use registers as much as possible Okay, and then I can say terminate the program. <clears throat> Remember that we have the uh, syscall 10 to do that. So we say load immediate dollar sign v0 comma 10, and then we say syscall. And that's gonna terminate the program. Okay, so um, initially, uh, this is complete. Now we have the sum and we also have the average, but I want to display the sum first. So I'm going to say load immediate. Let me say display sum. I'm going to say load immediate. I'll assign um, v0 comma 1 move uh, to dollar a0 the value in dollar t3 and syscall. So this is going to display the sum. I'm going to save. I'm going to run assemble and execute. As you can see, we get 21 because when you add uh, those values in the array, 10 plus 2 plus 9, you get 21. So this is correct. And now I just want to test the average. So the average is in T5. So I'm just going to paste it here. And I'm going to say um, that instead of T3, display the value in T5. And this is going to give me the average. So let me clear, save, assemble, execute. As you can see, the average is 7. And that's correct. Because the sum was 21. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. So what we get is an integer average because this is an array of integers so and we are doing integer division so um, this is the tutorial uh, please don't forget to subscribe uh, thank you for watching my tutorials and um, I hope to see you soon so thank you and yes uh, happy coding <laughs>